Hello, this is Mark van de Wettering of the Brain Wagon blog. Um, I've been experimenting with light-based communication for a while, and it dawned on me that um, I could use the Arduino to actually send pulse width modulated audio um, using LEDs or lasers. Um, the problem that I had originally was that the obvious way to do this would be to use the analog write capabilities of the Arduino but the pulse width modulation that it sets up to do analog writes uh, only runs at about 500 hertz, which isn't good enough to provide any kind of audio fidelity. But a little bit of careful reading, uh, and I came up with this tiny chunk of code, which I will reproduce on my blog. I wrote a simple sketch that just takes a, a bunch of data that's basically just a short audio file, and all that it really does is it loops up each byte, loads it into the pulse width modulation thing, uh, pulse with modulation register and then delays 125 microseconds. Uh, 1 over 125 microseconds is 8000 hertz, which is exactly what the audio file uh, was reproduced at. Anyway, so I downloaded and installed that onto my little Arduino, which i um, got right here. And um, I've wired it up to use pin 11 to uh, put the output on. Let's see, I'm doing this all one-handed, so bear with me. And you can see that it's got a small LED that's glowing. So this is the pulse width modulation output for timer 2, which is what I had it set up to. And while you can't see that it's blinking or anything, it's just sort of dimly glowing. Again, I have my traditional light-based LED or light-based receiver. I'll turn the volume way up. You might hear a faint shushing sound. Okay, and if I aim this LED at the brain wagon, brain wagon, brain wagon, at the brain solar wagon, cell, brain wagon, brain wagon, you can hear brain it repeatedly wagon, saying brain wagon, brain wagon, brain wagon in a really brain annoying way. The fidelity brain is quite wagon, good. Brain wagon. There's a slight background whooshing noise, which I think is just background from the illumination in the room. It doesn't seem to be correlated to anything else. If I cover the cover the cell, it goes away. So I think that's just some kind of ambient light pollution. But this means that I can send high fidelity audio using nothing but an Arduino. Now, in a real system, I would hook this to a, a, a switching transistor and put a lot of power into a much brighter LED or I could switch the laser that I was using uh, yesterday on and off to do the same thing. But the basic idea works just fine. The, time, the only thing that was slightly tricky about it was just figuring out the registers that need to be changed to make the pulse width modulation operate at a high enough uh, rate. Uh, by changing the prescaler to just be no prescaler, you end up with a count of about uh, 66 kilohertz for the pulse width modulation frequency. Other than that, it's dead simple. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm going to probably try to figure out ways to do this in a more interesting way and maybe integrate it into a transceiver that I'll do in the future. But in any case, uh, the code is freely available. Use it however you like. And, uh, you know, if you use it uh, and experiment with it, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear about anybody who uh, finds a good application for this. This has been Mark Van Wettering of the Brain Wagon Blog.